Good, Good morning, morning T-Birds. I'm JoJo. And I'm Elijah. Today is January 31st, 2023, and you're watching Meltoma TV. Damn, my nose a little stopped up. I sound a little... Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. We are going to start today's news with our sports report and see who the flag football team will be going up against. Let's head over to Jada. Flag football plays Franklin Pierce today at Silas at 5.30. It's a home game. And then at 6.30, they also play Washington at Silas. So make sure to come out and support our girls. And last weekend, our boys' swim team competed at districts. We had several swimmers end up on the podium. For more on this, Oceana has the story. Today we have an interview with a swimmer, Eduardo Tomaski. He won a second place in the 500 uh, this recent Friday. Let's see how he feels. Um, I feel good. I feel good. Yeah, with my my teammates, my coach was very proud of me. He was happy. Yeah, I feel good. Swimmers. Now let's head over to Sarah uh, for this week's weather report. It's actually pretty cold today. It's the low 32, high 43s. And Wednesday and Thursday will be cloudy. It will be low 31 on Wednesday uh, with a high 47. And on Thursday, it will be low 39 to high 50. For Friday, it will be raining with a low temperature of 44 and a high temperature of 49. Now, let's head back to the desk. Thank you. Reminder, the semester is ending on Thursday this week. Make sure you have your work done and finals completed. There will be no school on Friday, and second semester will begin on Monday, February 6th. In March, representatives from the Tacoma Public Library will be visiting Mount Tacoma to record the stories of our students to be included on record as a part of Tacoma's history. For more on this project, Jasmine caught up with the Community Archive Director Tacoma Public Libraries, uh, Deandra Barrow. Dindria Barrow, I am the Community Archive Center Library Associate at the Tacoma Public Library. And I heard you're coming to Mount Tacoma soon. When are you coming? I'm coming on March 3rd, 10th, and 16th. So what we're hoping to do is gather oral histories from young folks because a lot of young folks' voices are not heard um, in our history collection. And um, we want to also help you digitize anything that you have as far as um, pictures or statements that you're making for college um, and any narratives that you're writing. Um, we also will have a gallery walk where you can talk about your school neighborhood and your community and put that on record, um, as well as have a display of the past of Mount Tahoma. So what do you expect from students if they're coming into your show? Well, the first thing is that I hope that you get the release form from your librarian or from your um, language arts humanities teachers. And if you have that filled out, if you're under 18, you need to have your guardian signature. Bring those release forms in because then that allows us to take your oral history or your college statement or your narrative writing and put it online on a database for everyone to hear and, um, and experience. I really enjoy meeting young folks and having their stories be elevated. Thanks, Jasmine. So 
Remember to get the release form from the library or your English teacher and be ready on March 6th, 10th, or the 16th. If you're at Skateboarder, unfortunately, Skate Club is canceled today. We'll be back at it next Tuesday after school. If you want to know more about Skate Club, talk to Mr. Johnson in room 1005. Well, that does it for today's, today's news. Thanks again for tuning in. I'm JoJo. And I'm Elijah. Subscribe to us on YouTube and never miss a story. Once a T-Bird, always a T-Bird. Have a great day.